tell me if this is correct, because I you, you're the expert on this. So long before reclaimed water was available, all golf courses were irrigated with groundwater. That's and right. apparently they had sunk some wells for the Push Ridge course that were dedicated to just water the golf courses. Is that correct? I'd like people who aren't aware of it, you've given us some amazing briefings over the years showing how the water usage per capita has tremendously decreased, how through your planning, we have seen a wide increase in uh, cap water, reclaimed water, and how that's benefited our groundwater. So could you just give a brief summary of where we are now on our overall water usage and specifically our groundwater usage over the last 10 to 20 years? This, this course needs to use groundwater simply because it's location. There isn't any reclaimed water available. We've, we've put reclaimed water on every single available golf property that we could. So you talk in acre feet, which you've kind of educated us on, but I know most of the general public isn't aware of that. Would, <clears throat> if we continue the golf course and we continue the water at the current rate, and I believe there's a lot of opportunity to greatly reduce that rate, what impact, if any, will that have on our groundwater supply? Will it be noticeable? Because you seem to talk in millions and millions, uh, thousands of acre feet of water, yet this you mentioned were like 135 acre feet of water. So is it in the overall schemes of thing, not going to be harmful to our groundwater? And we're probably still gonna see our groundwater table actually improving you know the numbers, I, I don't. What you're saying, it sounds like, of course, every acre foot matters, but this certainly would not have a large effect upon our groundwater supply. When you look at the amount of water usage here versus our overall supply and overall usage, it's a pretty small percentage. One last question for you that no one has ever been able to answer for me, but you seem to have all the answers. That's what we love about you is when we irrigate a golf course, we're putting that water on the grass. Some of it is evaporating. Some of it is soaking down. How much, if any, of that water actually goes back into our aquifer? 